Попробуем на пару. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Here's an idea. Why don't you shout that louder so everyone at UC Security hears? <sighs> Either show me what you're trying to unload or get the... Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to have... If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. All I'm going to point out is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC Security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Hello. Make sure you get that job. And I can say that I've got some good. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his term, all you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then we can get that new equipment and show Corp. back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Good. Now, let's me... You look a bit different. No, now I remember. They told me they sent... When they told me how poorly you did on your application questions, I had my doubts. But at least you showed up on time. Well enough, Chit. Not, uh, very enthusiastic. Noted. Well, I need something done, and I don't want to go looking for someone to fight. So, I have a shipment I'm waiting for. Last time this happened, my assistant went to speak to the governor. I'm sure he'll help you to get it sorted. I don't know. At first I thought I had multiple assistants that wrote 
I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. Yeah. I tell you, Sidonia's a great place to open up a business. We've really been booming lately, despite what the news media's been reporting. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? It sounds as though you have been spying on us, Governor. Not exactly spying. Word gets around and I'm one to listen when it does. I like to know what goes on in my city. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble. Unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to. But I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However... I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first. Since you seem to be... See? My personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location.
come aboard and we can work out a deal where you get your bounty and we get to walk away. And we'll be waiting. I didn't think you were a fool. You play your cards right, and maybe you... I wish it didn't have to be this way, but... Okay, okay. Enough talk. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll even help you on your way. I have an incriminating letter from Hearst himself. I'm sure it's valuable to an enterprising individual such as yourself. I don't care what you do with it. Rip it up, use it for blackmail, whatever. I'll give it to you. So long as we get to keep this ship. Deal? Smart choice. Now, I suggest leaving before our reinforcement. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
I sure hope you... It's good to see you. I'm eager to conclude our business together. Did you, uh, take care of my little... Really? Your move here is blackmail? Hmm. I see how it is. Tell you what. Say you really do have this alleged note, and we're thinking of using it. If you're so inclined, I'll take it off your hands instead, and compensate you far more than releasing Mr. Brennan's shipment of good. Then you and I part ways and never speak of this again. Come on, don't make me have to explain it to you. <sighs> Private security leaves a paper trail. Obviously, that's not a good look, so I had to go where that's not a concern. Hence the pipe. No, about that. You know, you're supposed to destroy this ship. And even though I don't take kindly to blackmail, you're making the right move by agreeing to keep this matter. The way I figure, no one will believe you without proof anyway now. So this exchange? Not take... Brennan's package and your compensation. Right then, assistant. Let's see. My shipment. Ah, yeah. Now, um, I've probably got some important messages I need you to take. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech pattern. Hm. Yeah. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted. He was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. Oh, thanks. Is it? We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with... They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without...
some work done? Anything I can help you with? Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. Known by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry for all. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got... Anyway, good luck. taking Hank so long. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned there's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always... We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, and we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. A reminder that particle detonations can occur beyond the city limits between the hours of 0600 and 1800 local time. Anything in particular? Yo, hey, what's up? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll... Cool. Let's... Come back anytime. Questions, huh? Suit yourself? Uh, anyway, what's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong?
You're right. I didn't want to bring it back. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. They one last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a... How could I? <laughs> you do it too if your co-workers never took you seriously. I'm always showing them how much better I am than them, and all they do is laugh and talk behind me. They think I don't hear them, but I do. They say I'm a sh... So screw them. This whole... No. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? Who cares? It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. Hmm. Shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail, and then this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it, and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling him. Relax, Hotshot. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back, if that's what you're worried about. Just, uh... Well, your instincts are correct here, I think. Hank. Yes? Lulu's been going on about the heart of Mars again. What's she gonna... Outside Sidonia, there's just like nothing around. No one at all. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone, and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it really was uh, the perfect plan.
Too bad. I bet I could have made bank on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool mill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment. Uh, just a little further. What? No. Hold on. Is there some big thing everyone knows about that they're just keep... Probably think I can't keep a secret. Fine. I don't want to have anything to... What? You're leaving? enough now face me so I don't have to shoot you in the back no we got a problem we can't resolve if you ask me maybe it's not crazy enough do they we're way past sorry and that means... Calm down. Unfortunate end for Hank. But he gave you no other option. You did what you had to do. Best not to leave anything useful behind.
looking forward to hearing all about this. Oh, do tell. Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. He worked hard, but he was a dumb kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. It's a real shame. But I'm glad you managed. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would explain it.